We're opening up the library here in VSCO in order to do yet another edit. Going to find a photo from my gallery. And I've got a couple photos that I used uh, my phone to take. I generally like to carry my phone with uh, a 50 millimeter prime lens just because the phone always gives me a super wide angle. When I've got a landscape and uh, I've done some photo work with the camera, I always try to follow up and get at least two or three images with the phone just because it gives a better sense of place when you can see the whole wide expanse of the scene. Of course with the sacrifice of uh, imminence, the scene definitely does move farther from you when you're using the wide angle. Just moving through the filters here on VSCO. Uh, one of the things that I know from conversations with friends is that a lot of them have a favorite or two favorite filters that they use just at the time. I try to pay attention to what happens to the image in a variety of filters, trusting that the image itself, um, especially if it's a good photo, is going to tell me. Uh, it's going to give me some clues that I need to pay attention to that will help me pick a filter that does what this image needs for it to do. For instance, with this particular image, um, I've got this expanse of sand with water coming up, and the waves have um, real bright white highlights there at the crest, or the swell of each wave, um, while the sand itself is kind of darker toned, and most of these filters are um, uh, adding depth by um, globally kind of lowering the level of light. And although that's good for the water, it's not good for the color of the sand. It's not getting the effect. And so like with this P4, I could just take the entire image cooler and, and get a silhouette effect, but I like the color in the sand and it seems uh, tragic to let go of that. Here the color is too souped up. It is just definitely not right. And part of that was the contrast with the sky. Here the color isn't right either. It's too dark. It's got kind of a greenish gray tint to it. It's dirty looking. But when contrasted with um, the pink magenta highlights in that sky, I, it doesn't look bad. There the sand color is a little truer. The sky itself is not so exciting. That S5 comes awfully close, and it's a filter that I don't normally use, which makes a pretty good case for working through the filters. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. There we go with the S5, and now let's go ahead and bring up the tools. I'm gonna leave the exposure alone. I'm uh, gonna warm this up just a bit. look at what happens when I increase the contrast. When I decrease the contrast, we're going to decrease the contrast. I'm going to work in just a bit of fade. Oops, going to scale that back down. Because of the pinkness of the sky, we're moving up the scale on tint. Uh, purple magenta tones as opposed to down for green. You can see that's going to give it a sickly hue. Do not want that. Going to bump the saturation just a tiny bit, which does some nice things to the pink that's in this, present in the sky because of this filter, and also that orange brown red on the rock. Going to see what happens when we bring up the highlights or bring down the sky. A little bit too much drama in the sky. 
And then with the highlights, if we bump that magenta highlight and then bring it all the way down and see what that does to kind of boost the pink orange. It almost seems too strong to me. But we're going to give it just a tiny boost. And we'll look at the shadows. Normally I really like blue. And I do like the way that that cools that. The purple tends to warm quite a bit, almost too much, just like it was too much on the sky. And then we'll just move through these other. Definitely no. Definitely no. Definitely no. Uh, no. OK, so we're going to keep with this blue, and we're going to scale it down. Right now, it's too strong. And we have our image. So we're going to save that back to the gallery. And once this pops up in the gallery, we'll shoot it over, or the VSCO gallery, to the phone gallery. And from the phone gallery, I'll upload it to Picasa. The conditions were for shooting certainly weren't perfect. Heavy rain, um, sat completely saturated sand. It was a short beach with a high tide. Good ambient light, um, but because of the way that the rain was coming down, I mean, it was awfully hard to shoot without getting water on the lens, which distorts images, tends to create spots. And um, those spots tend to bend. So we're going over to the gallery. Opening VSCO. Where did VSCO go? VSCO has not popped open. And so um, I am, oh, there we go. I'm not going to give up yet. Never mind. That's VSCO cam here. And now that we've got that image, we can send it to Picasa, where I will be able to crop caption and schedule. Still waiting for that upload to start. Oh my goodness. This is painful. There we go. Excellent.